Hey y'all, welcome back for Embodying Divine Feminine Energy. Today we are doing Joan of Arc, the Warrior of Light. I have steel-like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. Here we go. <laughs> Joan of Arc represents the power that we all possess when we're aligned with our calling. She is a legendary heroine in France for her role in the Hundred Years' War. She was born in 1412 in Domremy, I know I'm saying that incorrectly, I apologize, France. And at the age of 13, she had a vision that, she would, that would change the course of her life. She relates years later in transcripts from her trial after being captured by the English that she would have preferred to stay in her hometown spinning wool. But the power of her vision and the belief in the truth of it compelled her to follow the voice she heard within her. The vision was of the Archangel Michael accompanied by many angels. She said, I saw them with my bodily eyes as well as I am seeing you. And when I left, I wept. Or when they left, I wept. The Archangel Michael told her that she was meant to drive out the English from France. Dressed in men's armor, Joan of Arc led several campaigns against the English and became a symbol of hope. The power of her conviction that she is acting on God's behalf shifted the tenor of the war in France's favor. Favor. She was captured in May of 1430 and taken to Rouen, Rouen, uh, which was the which was then under the English rule. A hearsay trial uh, led by Bishop Cockin charged her with the repeat offense of cross-dressing. Oh, wow. She was condemned and sentenced to death in May of 1431. 25 years later, her mother, Isabella Rome, uh, among others, demanded a retrial. 115 witnesses were called to testify on Joan's defense. She was declared innocent in 1456, and Pope Benedict the 25th canonized her in May of 1920. When your soul selects this card, during Joan of Arc's hearsay trial, hearsay, hearsay, her interrogators asked if she, asked her if she was in a state of grace. She answers, "If I am not, may God put me there, and if I am, may God so keep me." Her unfaltering faith in the truth of her own visions made the impossible possible. As a teenager, she led an army that changed the course of history for France. Um, and because of the trials, we have sworn testimony detailing the courage of her convictions and her own testimony about her visions of Archangel Michael, who inspired the course of her actions. Act and God will act, she said. The faith that she had in her vision allowed her to take on a task that had never, ever been done before by a young woman. Her every action chanted, I am not afraid. I was born to do this. She is associated with the Flor de Lis, uh, known as the Flower of Light. It represents yeah. Trinity, the profound truth that Trinity would not exist without Mary, her brave response to the angel Gabriel's call. Joan, like Mary, knows that she is directly connected to the divine from within her, and she allows that connection to guide her. Joan of Arc's life is a testament to what is possible when we believe steadfastly in our own vision. She asks for us to, be, to move beyond our fear, to act on our truth, and to do this with the confidence of knowing that our every step is flanked with angels. <clears throat> what is the most powerful vision of my life? And I have a steel-like faith in myself the angels armor me with conviction. All right, y'all. I'm going to actually upload. I was thinking about doing this, and then now it's official. I will be doing this. Um, I'm going to upload a video. We're going to talk about fear um, today in a collective combo. We did triggers. What was that yesterday or the day before? So we're going to talk about fear um, because that's important, and we're going to be inspired to step into our own power, trust our own visions, just like Joan of Arc. All right, have a good one.